good morning all of you so this is the 12th class 12th lecture of course me 501 internal combustion engine in this talk in this class we will discuss about real cycle analysis in last class we have seen various air standard cycle that is carnot cycle otto cycle diesel cycle and dual cycle in this class we will study real cycle what is real cycle is so what we will study in this class we will uh, see the comparison of air standard cycle and actual cycle and we will see that uh, this actual cycle is uh, also called real cycle okay so what are the main factor by which this air standard cycle is differ from this uh, real cycle that is time loss factor we will study we will uh, look at direct heat losses factor and we will also look at exhaust blow down losses factor this three factor are the major difference between the air standard cycle and actual cycle we will look this into detail and we will see the effect of this factor on the pv diagram okay so so first we will start of with actual or real cycle so what is the difference between actual or real cycle there are various difference between the two first is the working substance being the mixture of air and air and fuel in air standard cycle we consider that the working fluid is only air but in actual cycle it is a combination of air and fuel okay with uh, and it is also combined with the exhaust gases little amount of exhaust gases or the product of combustion which is left from the previous cycle so actually what is what is the combination uh, it is a combination of fuel it is a com with air and some amount of exhaust gases as well okay but uh, what we consider in air standard cycle we only consider that it is uh, only air the other difference is the change in chemical composition of the working substance again we assumed in air standard cycle that the chemical composition will remain constant throughout the process of combustion but actually it is not the case here fuel burn and its chemical composition changes and because of that chemical composition change only we will able to produce energy so uh, chemical composition continuously changes of working substance in actual cycle again the variation of a specific heat with temperature in air standard cycle what we have assumed we have assumed that the specific heat will remain constant throughout the process of combustion or throughout the process of cycle means all the four stroke all the four stroke yeah, or two stroke in two stroke cycle the specific heat of the working substance will remain constant but it is not the case specific is heat is very much dependent on the temperature of the system as the temperature increases the specific heat also increases so this is this again this is the criteria that we have to take while studying actual cycle next is the change in composition temperature and actual amount of fresh charge because of residual gases so uh, in actual air standard cycle we are not considering the content of residual gases which is present in air fuel mixture but actually it is present so because of the presence of residual gases the amount of actual charge which is intake is reduced it is not uh, theoretically what uh, we are calculating that this much amount of charge are taking inside the combustion chamber but practically it is not possible in actual cycle it is not possible because some amount of exhaust gases are already available there are already present there so it restrict the actual content of uh, air fuel mixture to come inside the combustion chamber again the most important thing is what we consider we always consider that in air standard cycle we consider that the combustion is an instantaneous process but actually it is not an instantaneous process <coughs> it is a progressive process means combustion requires some time but what we have seen in auto cycle we have seen that the combustion the process of combustion at constant volume heat addition occur at constant volume means piston is at top dead center it is not moving it is not moving what does it mean that it is an instantaneous process it does not occur any kind of time but actually it is progressive combustion <coughs> next the heat transfer to and from the working medium in ideal cycle we consider that there is no heat transfer from the working medium to outside but actually it is not possible we are uh, using uh, cooling arrangement so heat transfer occur between the working substance and Uh, outside of the engine. Next, the substance, uh, the substantial exhaust blowdown loss. That is the loss of work on the expansion stroke due to the early opening of the exhaust valve. In case of valve timing diagram, what we have seen, we have seen that we are uh, opening the exhaust valve before the power stroke end. 
so what is happening out here because of that uh, because of that there is a loss of work and that loss of work will be considered in case of actual cycle but in case of ideal cycle it is neglected again important that there is in actual engine there are some gas leakages fluid friction etc are there there are some frictional power losses but in ideal cycle we are ignoring all those things most of the factors listed this eight factor listed either it will decrease the thermal efficiency or power output of the actual engine so because uh, when we are uh, moving from idea air standard cycle to actual cycle what we will see we will see that either the thermal efficiency will be decrease or the power output will be decrease okay so actual cycle will give less thermal efficiency and less power output as compared to the ideal cycle okay so out of those all those factors what are the factors which are of major influence sabse other influence kiska hota hai so we will see that the first is time loss factor in time loss factor what is happening loss due to time required for mixing of fuel and air and also for combustion so it is because of what we have discussed that uh, combustion is not a instantaneous process it is a progressive process it will take some time so because of that time some loss occur and this loss comes under time loss factor loss due to time required for mixing of fuel and air and also for combustion next is heat loss factor in ideal cycle what we consider there is no heat loss but in actual heat loss from the gases to the cylinder wall took place and this has to be taken care in case of actual cycle or real cycle because because of this lot of energy goes out of the combustion chamber without being converted into mechanical work and the last one is exhaust blow down factor means we have seen that the, in wall timing diagram that valve opens before the piston completes it, its power stroke so because of that early opening of valve exhaust valve there is a loss in expansion expansion stroke uh, work will be reduced what are whatever the power is transmitted whatever the work is transmitted from the gas to the piston it will reduce because we have opened the exhaust valve and some amount of energy is going starts moving out of the combustion chamber before the power stroke ends so these are the three major factor that is time loss factor heat loss factor and exhaust blow down factor that differentiate the actual cycle with the ideal cycle so we will discuss all these three factors that is time loss factor heat loss factor and exhaust blow down factor in detail in our next class okay so stay tuned for my next class thank you